Good evening and welcome to We Repair. Um, so I'm sure you can probably already make out what this is. Um, so this is a 27 inch iMac. I actually can't remember what year it is. I think it's 2009, 2010. Um, it's obviously had some work done on it. You can see the RAM slots open already. It's been well beaten up and well used over the years. It has got a failed motherboard in it. It doesn't, does no longer work. Um, so I'm gonna repurpose it. Long story short, I need a studio monitor because of the stuff that I'm doing. I'm constantly having to look up at the camera for my overhead shots. So I'm going to uh, repurpose this bad boy as my studio monitor. I have already taken a few screws out of it because I wanted to order the correct parts. Um, so I'll talk to you a bit about what I've done and uh, where we're going and we'll, we'll get this thing stripped down. So to make my life easier, I'm gonna turn this around and we'll start working on it. So to get this front bezel up, it is just magnetized on. You can just use your fingernails and lift it up or um, you can get a suction tool if you want to be a bit more professional than I. So as you can see, there are a number of screws down the edge. You need a T10 screwdriver, I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera, to undo them. I've already undone most of them except for this one here and this one on this side. Um, so we'll just get those two undone and then we can lift the screen up. Now when we do lift the screen out, there are some things that you need to be aware of. There's a couple of cables below that uh, are going to be attached that we need to detach. So we will just work our way through and do that. The magnets on this are pretty strong, so they tend to just uh, stick the screws to them. Let me stand this up and then you can see what is going on with these cables. So if we lean this forward now, the screen will want to go with it. So just be careful. And I don't know how well you can see, um, but we've got a couple of sensor cables, we've got a power lead and all sorts that needs to be undone. So first thing we're gonna do, this cable on this side, we're just gonna pop up and a detach. And then we're gonna do our monitor cable and our, we've got a sensor at the bottom. I don't know if you can see those or not. So the monitor cable does just push in at the sides, it's two little pinchy clips on here, and it will just pull out. I'm leaning forward a bit more, we just need to take the sen detach the sensor as well. So we'll just do that, if it will let me. So that's that, and then we have got our, what I think is our inverter down here. So this one pushes down, so it unclips, and pushes down like that. And now, the monitor should just lift away. So let me get this tidied up a bit. I'll lie this back down and then we can see the next steps. Right, so we're back with our iMac now. There's a few things you need to be aware of. So this is where all of our power is up in this corner. So you just be really careful when you're touching the boards and things. Um, we're gonna try not to touch any of that just in case there's discharge power that's not discharged and we don't want to electrocute ourselves. We're gonna take this hard drive out, Wi-Fi card, and we're just gonna work our way around. You can see there's some rust on here as well, so it's it, it's seen its day. So let's get this power board out of the way first. Again, nearly all of the screws in here are T10, so we shouldn't have any issues getting them undone. So what I'll do for the purposes of the video, I will just work my way around, get everything undone, and then come back to you in a minute. Don't 
right, so there we are. That is our Mac completely stripped down. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying up in here as well, just to make it neat and tidy, get rid of some of these bits of tape and things and try my best to make it look clean, even though you're not gonna see it um, because it's much nicer when it looks clean. I don't know how much of this plastic I'm gonna be able to take out. I'm not too concerned. I'm gonna leave the mount because I want to reuse that because I'm intending on wall mounting this once I'm done. So for all intensive purposes, that's our Mac stripped out. I have a whole humongous pile, as you can probably see off to this side of stuff that's come out. Um, most of it will go in the bin. There's a few bits I am gonna salvage for another project. And I will keep my ridiculous pile of screws for the moment as well, because hopefully I can reuse some of these fixings and things when I turn it into a bit of a studio monitor. So for the moment, we are going to leave it here. Um, and when my other parts arrive, I will continue on with this video. Right, so I've stripped out as much as far as I can. I've given everything a bit of a clean, so it's looking a bit tidier now. So the next bit we've got to do is look at the inverter side sorry, the inverter side, the LCD side. So I've got some bits, I think I've got a plan. Um, so I'll go and grab some bits and we'll run through that now. We're back with our LCD panel now. Uh, so this is the, the grubby underbelly of it that needs sorting out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this disconnected because we don't need this cable anymore. This can be got rid of. Now we need to install the new bits. So what I have is this, uh, this is come all the way from China. Um, so what I've done to search this is I've taken this number here, this LM270WQ1 um, with the SDC1 at the end of it, and I've shoved that into AliExpress and it's come back with this LCD controller board. So there's another inverter, there's the board itself, some power buttons, leads, etc. So we're gonna get this all plumbed in and then I think I'm going to hide it, well I am going to hide it behind the screen, which is going to make it impossible to get to, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I'll just pop this out of the way, we'll just get rid of this, this is just a sensor um, that has been stuck down badly some time ago. So that's that, don't know if this will come off. Mm, there we go, nearly took my fingers out. So. Let's get this connected up then. The first thing we need to pay attention to is this piece here. This is our video cable. It will only go one way round. So the red, the black, and all the rest of it's on the right hand side, and the others are on the left. So what we do is we just plug that in here, like so. And then we'll tuck that, tuck that tape back down over it. Next thing we need to do is our inverter board. Uh, I'm not I'm just being careful not to touch the bottom, but I'm sure it's been discharged already, but I just so I don't electrocute myself, which hopefully I won't. Uh, so this, I can only go in one way up and just plug straight down like so. Until the catch engages, which it has done now. So I might put that directly on some metal. So next thing, so this is our controls. There's some menu up, down and whatever else buttons in there. Power supply they didn't actually send me, so I'm using just a standard 12 volt supply. Nothing special about it. So what we'll do is we'll just get this off to one side. So I've got my power supply here. So I have my laptop off to one side as well. I should have been a little bit more organized and have my HDMI cable connected. So I'll just do that. I'll get this plugged in. So this is a HDMI board, you can get some non-HDMI ones, but I want to use HDMI because that's what comes up my camera. And then power, I've got the power turned off at the moment. So what we'll do, hopefully, this is where I don't know now, we'll flip this screen over as carefully as we can. And we should be able to see some life. Yeah, we've got a little green light on our power board. And, oh, there's our screen. You probably can't see that. I'm just waiting for it to see if it fires up. Uh, my laptop has lost its display, so let's give our mouse a little wiggle. 
log back in. I'm just going to tilt my screen so you can't see it because it's got my password all over it. Typically bad timing for a laptop to go to sleep. Hey, we've got a Wii repair page. That's what we like right there. Nothing like a DIY monitor. Cool, happy days. So that is working in principle. Just flick the power off. Just disconnect it here. And we'll disconnect this HDMI cable as well. If I can with one hand, which I can't seem to do. Just lie this monitor flat. So I thought we'd go for the uh, full janky approach and I definitely didn't hot glue the snot out of it. <laughs> so both boards are not going anywhere now. Um, this is a plastic backing, it's not metal, so I don't mind mounting them to it. So I'm gonna tilt the screen up, get the LCD panel ready, and then we'll get everything put back together. Right, so now you just get to watch me fight with this panel to get it all back together. So first thing we're gonna do is get this cable plugged in, which I've somehow got to try and do upside down and around the wrong way. So uh, nothing like a challenge. Not the day to be wearing a hoodie. There we go, that's plugged in. And now this cable should be a lot easier, assuming. Hey, and that's not a great start because I've mounted it too goddamn high. So let's. I mounted it too high. Yes, I've mounted it too high. Ding, 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 take two. Right, so the only real way I could make this work was to put this on the back of the screen, but there's um, a non-metallic coating on it, so it's fine. So we now need to get this plugged in, which I think is that way up, if I remember rightly. Sorry, I can't really show you this because it is impossible to film whilst trying to plug in this cable. There we go. So that's now plugged in. Before I button everything up, let's just turn it on to test. We should be alive, hopefully. Uh, have we got light there? We do have light there. Just. So I'll make sure the screen's working before I uh, button everything up. Yeah, I've got picture on the screen, so that's great. Not that you can see it, but I do. Let's unplug it again. This is where things are gonna become a little bit fun because the brackets for this, all the metal work the screen used to sit on is now gone. So I think what I'm better off doing is probably lying this flat like this. Resting the screen at the top. Is that going to work? No, I'm going to have to tuck it in just a little bit. The problem is, if I put it all the way and it will drop down, so I can't see it like, like that. I do need to get this lined up nicely. That's one way to cheat and do it. But it does mean the screws are. All so, on to the final piece of the puzzle. So. This has all been put back together and reassembled. And I have the glass here. I had a little bit of an incident with the glass in that I may have dropped it and smashed the old one. So this is actually a brand new piece of glass that I'm gonna be incredibly gentle with. So let's just get that reinstalled. And hopefully this should be perfect fit. And there we are. Oh, and I failed miserably because one of the feet is not in properly. Let's just do that. There we are. Perfect. Let's do the both satisfying bit. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So that is it. That is our 
lovely repaired, well, I say repaired, repurposed iMac. So that is all she wrote in iMac terms. It is repaired, it is done, it is tested. I'm happy with the fit and finish. Um, I'm going to do another quick video after this just because I've got to mount it and get the brackets on and all that sort of stuff. So I'll show you a bit of how I'm doing that. But otherwise, that is it for this video. Everything is fitted and we are good to go. I'm not going to do a great deal of tidy up around the back. I will put the cables in nicely into place. But in essence, it's all converted and we're good. So if you found it useful, please drop me a like. Leave me some questions, anything you want to know, I will try and explain. Hopefully I've demoed enough in this video um, for you to be able to do this project yourself. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.